Hey there, you feel the animals? Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of the GTM Show, and today we got Smash Burger on the show. I don't know if we've ever even had Smash Burger on the show before. I know we've, we've attempted to have them on the show before, and things went horribly wrong. Uh, even a second attempt is we went to try to make a live video like at one of their locations, and that didn't go so well either. But here today, we've acquired a couple of their burgers. Uh, seems that most of the Smash Burgers that you go to, they have a local burger. Uh, ours here, nearest us, we're in Florida, of course, so it's the Miami Burger. And if we can go to the website real quick, let me get a description for you of what this is supposed to be. Okay, if you just go to the uh, Smash Burger website, it's not going to be listed in the burgers there. It's a local burger. So I had to go to, like, um, like type in my local Smash Burger and just look at their local menu. So the Miami Burger, grilled Spanish chorizo, frito potatoes, aged Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and chipotle mayo on a Cuban roll. Of course, I got mine without those onions. But yeah, putting chorizo on the burger, that's how I got hooked into getting this one. So you already know the description. Let's crack this open and take a peek. All right, so boom, as I bust open the wrapper there, we already see what they called uh, frito potatoes, which is basically just like fried potatoes, like fried string potatoes, potato sticks. You see those tumbling out the side there. You also see the burger, you also see a little bit of cheese. Let's get this uh, out of here so we can get a closer look. All right, and there you go, out of the wrapper. And you can see that Cuban roll, as they said. It's not as big as a regular hamburger bun. It's almost like oval shaped there on the bottom. You can even get a better look at like, what I'm talking about, oval shaped, it's not like a circle. You can see our beef patty there. We pop this open here. Looks like our lettuce is glued on by the chipotle mayo. We got those fried potatoes. Uh, somewhere in there is our chorizo. The chorizo is on the bottom and they've kind of like sliced it, kind of like uh, bacon, like a slice of bacon would be. And then you see the cheese. Yeah, looking pretty good. All right, down the hatch with the Miami burger, our local burger from Smash. All right, not too bad. Um, I get the texture of those potatoes. I've taken like three snaps at this. I get the texture of the potatoes. It's real crunchy, real fried up, in, like every bite. Mostly it's textured though. I don't get really the flavor of the potatoes. And they seem to be heavily seasoned with some sort of an orange dusting. Um, the main flavor that I get hit over the head with here is the flavor of the beef patty. And it's pretty good. Um, of course, they're frying these on a griddle, hence the name Smash Burger. Smash them on there. Uh, it's very juicy. Um, it's got a nice seared flavor on there. And it also comes across tasting like um, if you had just maybe made hamburgers in a frying pan at home. Maybe it's like lightly salted them. But yeah, for how orange and weird looking that those potatoes were, not a whole lot of flavor coming off of that. Same thing with the chorizo. And that was like the whole gimmick of this was to put the chorizo on there. And it's such a thin slice. Um, I get maybe a little bit of spice off of it, like a little bit of a zing, not really a heat. But I can't really say that that's coming off of the chorizo or if it's coming off of that chipotle mayo that they put on there. And it's not like they skimped on that mayo either. There's plenty of it on there. I can't even peel the lettuce off the top bun. It's just like glued on there. Like every time I open this up, the lettuce just comes with it. Lettuce and tomatoes are nice and fresh. The bun, the Cuban roll, nice and fresh. But now that I've had this product and I realize that, you know, it's just a sliced little piece of chorizo on there. I mean, they'd really have to stack up that chorizo or cut it thicker for it to have any kind of a standout flavor. Kudos for the good beef flavor. But yeah, this is supposed to be like a gimmicky burger and your gimmick isn't standing out here it's not shining through definitely can't see myself running out to pick this up again and even if I went into a smash burger I don't think I would pick this off the menu over some of the other ones that are on there all the time so for smash burgers Miami burger I'm gonna have to give this a high three out of five all right so there you have it smash burger and our local product the Miami smash if you're down here in Florida with us go out give it a try tell us what you think I'm Mr. Dirty this is the GTM show don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the real Mr. Dirty as always get out of here go have a rotten day